Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome to my first q and I've never done one of these before, so uh, bear with me as this might take a little while, because uh, I don't really know what I'm doing right now. But here we go. What is your favorite vegetable? I like, I like the carrots. I think carrots are tasty. Hi. Hi. That's, that's not a, that's not a question. So yeah, how do you stay motivated in school while having depression? That's a pretty good question. Um, usually it's just, it's kind of just mind over matter at that point. You really have to tell yourself, you know, okay, you know, things are, are down, but at the same time, I still have a duty. You know, I have a job to do. I have something that I need to do here. And uh, I just have to hang in there and stay confident in myself and just get through it day by day. <laughs> I said duty. What music or bands do you listen to? How did you discover YouTube and who did you watch first? Well, I like all types of music really. Um, my favorite genres are definitely uh, punk and alternative and indie and stuff like that. So uh, pretty much stuff you've never heard of. God, that was, that was so disgustingly hipster. I kind of just discovered YouTube the same way everybody discovered YouTube. Way, way back in the day, before YouTube became a big, huge thing and people made money off of it, uh, it was just kind of a place for people to go to uh, just make stupid videos or watch stupid videos, and, you know, that's what I did. So I started off with the classics like uh, uh, Nikahiga and Smosh and, um, you know, just old, old guys like that who are now, like, big-name, big-time YouTube stars, so... I don't know. Just YouTube. Hi. Okay, again, not, 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 not a question. What are you studying in college? Well, right now I'm studying a uh, general education degree so I can transfer over to a university and uh, hopefully there I'll be able to study creative writing and then uh, get a teaching degree, which is what I wanna do. I wanna teach people. What did you wanna be when you grew up, when you were little, and is that something you still wanna do? When I was little, I remember I wanted to be a fireman. I don't know why, I just kind of wanted to be some sort of like a superhero or something. I wanted to be a fireman when I was little. Um, as I got a little bit older, I was really interested in airplanes. So eventually I wanted to join the Air Force as well. Um, these are all things that I didn't actually get a chance to do because I have type 1 diabetes. Uh-oh, sounds like something to talk about in a blog. But no, yeah, I wanted to be, you know, a, I really wanted to be in the Air Force for a long time, and uh, I can't do that now. So I guess I'll just have to use my brain instead of using my muscles. My big, big manly muscles. After that girl that you love died, did you find any other girl that you like? I'm assuming you're talking about the girl I referred to in my uh, Daniel Kyer video, and no, <laughs> to be honest, not really. Um, I still kind of, I maintained in that last video, and I still maintain that that girl was really just the best love and it was so weird because we were really long distance and you wouldn't expect that kind of those kinds of feelings to arise from a relationship like that but they did and i don't think that i will ever find another girl quite like her that was that was depressing let's talk about something else keep striving dude by the way what got you starting youtube thanks um and i think just watching it i've watched it for so long i i had a few channels way back when i was little uh, and I just ever since then I've been wanting to make videos and I never really found my, my niche market until I saw Markiplier and then I was like, oh yeah, gaming videos. Oh, the gaming videos. What do you think your life will be like in five years? And how old are you? Well, I'm 20 years old and, uh, oh gosh, I can't don't think I can even imagine life at 25. I would like to think it would be cool. I'd, I'd like to think I got some kind of degree by then. Where did you grow up? I grew up in a, in a small suburb outside of Portland, Oregon. It was very, very cold there all the time. It was very quiet, and uh, it's a pretty good place for, for people to raise kids. I miss it there. If you could create a new creature, what would it be called and what would it look like? Also, pancakes or waffles? Well, I prefer neither. I actually prefer bran cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, if I could create a new creature, that is a really, really interesting question, and I think I really have to ponder on it for a second here. Um, I think if I could, I would take the natural hunting ability of a big cat and combine it with the mosquito hawk and make, like, mosquito cat. So that way it can, like, just completely decimate and wipe out the mosquito population because I really, really hate those little bastards. I hate them! If you could travel anywhere in the world free of charges, where would you go and why? I like, I like England. England's cool. 
Japan's cool too. Mm, I'm gonna go with Japan. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Japan. What is your favorite thing to do in your spare time? Well, when I'm not doing YouTube videos, I'm doing stuff related to YouTube videos usually. Um, I love to draw, I love to play video games. Um, I play guitar a little bit. I read, play more video games. I don't really have a very interesting life, to be honest. Can I be your hot sauce to your bran eggs? No. No, you can't. On a more serious note, did you ever play sports as a kid? If so, what kind? No, I didn't. <laughs> I was never a very active kid. Um, I, I I mostly got into the, what, I guess you'd call them extreme sports or whatever, you know, like skateboarding and uh, BMX and stuff like that, but I never played like team sports that was not that was not my thing that was not something i did like ever i just stumbled across your channel a couple days ago and i'm already hooked you're awesome and i'm so happy to have found you have you ever gotten professional help for your depression if so has it helped you and are you religious thank you and uh no yeah i actually have gotten professional help for depression um i've seen a couple psychiatrists and a couple of therapists about it uh it's it, it's helped me a little bit to be honest it, it works when it needs to work, it's nice to be able to talk to somebody. Um, I've never taken pills. I've, I'm pretty much against pills, and I don't believe that they'll ever work for me. And that isn't to say that I don't like pills at all and that they won't work for everybody, because they will. You know, you just got to give them a chance, but I just refuse to give them a chance. Um, I don't think that they are the right path. I think that for me, in particular, depression, my depression can be solved with just kind of working it out. Am I religious? No, I am not religious. Um, if you want to believe in a god, that's totally cool. I just don't think it's that likely. How do you keep calm in stressful situations? I don't. What was your first vehicle? Well, I actually don't have a vehicle yet. Um, I know how to drive and everything, but I'm just poor, <laughs> so I don't have a vehicle. Uh, the, the vehicle I learned how to drive on, though, was my, at the time, my mother's beetle. I hated that thing. What country are you from? America. All right, you guys, that's all the questions for now. Go ahead and leave more questions in this video, and I'll get back to them in my next Q&A. But until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!